hey so it's the beginning of another video and this time around i need to tidy up my kitchen and what i mean i need to tidy up my kitchen i don't mean just the countertops which have everything on them right now but i also mean there's some drawers that are actually really really starting to get on my nerves they're starting to get on my nerves so before i get into that Today is a good day because as I record this yesterday in the afternoon, your girl hit 10,000, 10, bona, my thousand, my 10,000, my 10,000, 10,000 subscribers, listen. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you guys who follow me on the channel, to all of you guys who commented, who used your data watching my videos, who, you know, you've been there since day one from YouTube, from YouTube, from Beauty Corner to all of that. Thank you so much for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. And I'm busy trying to think about what I would do for a giveaway, but a giveaway is definitely coming to the channel. Definitely coming to the channel. Uh, thank you. Thank you for finding me interesting enough to follow me because, you know, 10,000 subscribers basically means 10,000 people find you interesting. You know, there are people who just go in there for one video, not subscribe, whatever, but 10,000 people find me interesting. I don't even think I'm that interesting. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't even think I'm that interesting. So thank you. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. I'm humbled by the messages that I've been getting all morning and last night as well. I'm so humble. I'm so tired, but I'm tired mentally because I've just been, yeah, I've been in my feelings literally all morning. And I feel like the only way to get out of my feelings is actually to do some work or just keep my mind, you know, productive, do something around the house. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I am going to clean up some of these cupboards because they are stressing me the F out. And yeah, I might need to get rid of a lot of things that are in this kitchen. And that's fine. That's fine. You know, just cupboards that you don't even go into, you know. Um, and after that, maybe later on, I'm going to... I'm thinking of doing my really, really delicious chickpea salad. Um, it's great as an added extra addition to your meals. But now I want to get into this. I really want to get into all of this behind me. And uh, uh, yeah, I don't know okay, how Okay, so this is the first drawer. These drawers are pretty much all those miscellaneous drawers that you just stuff things in. And I'm talking about all four of them all four of them so i want to try and get through these drawers and i also want to try and get through this section as well uh today um for the most part all the other ones are fine but i need to tidy this stuff up and then wipe some of these things down there's, there's pieces of plastic that are just sitting in here Jeez, these drawers um i don't use as much but i come to these drawers for things like cling wrap and for uh, foil and all of those things. So I just want to take everything out, wipe it down, put them back more neatly. Look, look, look for baking and all of this. And I really love this brand. This is Kitchen Inspire. I really love this brand for measuring spoons for it's got really nice kitchen utensils that you can use and they, they just i mean that color is awesome so Look at this shit. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my God. Seriously. And from when I was living with my sister, she used to really love the slimming tea. Never had it. It's probably been here for years. I, I cannot. Then there's some glad 
handy covers, which I think are better off in here. Okay. Pills. Lots and lots of pills. What is this? We got a loofah. A whole entire loofah. <laughs> I cannot. This is, this is nice. All right, yet another one. Oh my God, I can't, I just, I can't be on board with what's going on here. This is so old. I don't need any of these things. I mean, look at these CDs. How are CDs sitting in here? Brandy, Quincy Jones. The thing is, there's nothing in here, nothing. What a waste. Doesn't even open. Nothing. And then the last drawer, of course, is my snack drawer, which I'm constantly cleaning out. So this one for now is so fine. Basically to show you what I've done with the drawers, it looks a lot neater than it was before. This is a section for all the wraps and the uh, foil, uh, cling wrap, foil, uh, handy covers, all of that. And these some of these kitchen stuff. Um, these are lids to my Nutri-Bullet um, jars, which I need sometimes if I'm going, you know, out with my with my smoothies. And then this one is just going to be a anything to do with uh, kitchen utensils because you can't have these things sitting out on the counter. So I think it's better off to have them in here. So now here is um, the bright stuff, the whisks, blah, 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 all that jazz. And I put my Kintsugi plate there because it is quite special to me. That's for my trip from, uh, from my trip to Japan. And then in here, there really isn't much in here. It looks so much better than it did before, which is fantastic. Um, the pills that I normally take, oh, in actual fact, I haven't taken my vitamins today. So the vitamins that I normally take on a daily basis, uh, some hand sanitizers, which I feel like I need to stock up on uh some more because i had like maybe about 10 of these and i use them like crazy and then just some extra uh light bulbs there at the corner there and blah 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 so yeah and then in here all snacks as you know that's how i roll snacks pretty much done I don't think much needs to be done here especially in this first drawer because this is where I keep my teas so I clean out this drawer quite a bit um, the drawer is quite neat this is where I keep my teas my coffees my Nespresso pods <laughs> this one is a little bit on the dirtier side so we're gonna tackle this one here this one keeps my popcorn because I do enjoy popcorn more especially the act 2 popcorn but uh, yeah, let's get into this drawer here.
crazy the amount of things that came out of there so this top one looks like that i don't know why i've got so much cling wrap do not judge me i don't know why i've got so much of it i think because we we entertain quite a lot even when my sister was here we used to entertain quite a bit so uh neat clean these are those things that you wrap around your body i forget what they call them you wrap around your body when you're cooking what do they call them oh my god i forgot i'll, I'll list it here are basically my spices this is where i keep most of my spices i actually need to look through them and check if dates are still okay but i can see one says 2020 what 2022 so yeah yeah i did do a cleanup out of them and then these are my sparkling waters this is these are the bags that i carry with me when i go to the shops that's pretty much it now we wipe this down and we wipe down this whole kitchen and we're done god these biscuits are so good i showed them in one of my videos everything but the kitchen sink from woolies so good so healthy they're oat biscuits oh, my hands are full of detergent i can't i can't show you but this is pretty much um so this is pretty much what they look like they're oat biscuits um so i just put them in this glass container once i open the packaging because you can't keep them in the packaging to be honest um uh, yeah they are absolutely delicious with a cup of tea sweet they've got a bit of chocolate in there but it's mostly oats nuts seeds it's delicious so Okay, all right, so the kitchen is pretty much done. I just wiped down the fridge, and as you could see, we did everything else. What I do want to show you now is the chickpea salad. So it's gonna be a little bit of a clean the kitchen with me, and then end it off by making something really, really nice, healthy. 
for ya, ya feel me? So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need and these are pretty much things that you will have in the house already, like genuine, I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna show you what you need and then I am going to prepare it for you so that I can also prepare it for myself and chill it in the fridge and then I'm gonna have it later with some meat or something like that. And yeah, then I'll close off the vlog this way. So I was just getting the ingredients ready and I'm gonna show you what you need for the salad. Really, really easy peasy lemon squeezy stuff. Everything that is here, you already have, trust me. Trust me, you already have. So the main ingredient obviously is the chickpeas. You're going to need chickpeas for the salad. Um, cucumber, tomatoes, preferably the smaller tomatoes. So anything from rosa tomatoes to uh, the sweet cherry tomatoes, anything like that, not the big tomatoes. You're gonna need something smaller for the salad. And um, bell pepper, what is this? Robot peppers, this is the yellow one in specific. And then you're going to need lemons, pretty much one lemon because we're going to use that as the juice, lemon juice. You're going to need olive oil because make it more, um, the lemon juice and the olive oil makes for like a nice dressing for the chickpea salad. And then uh, to taste, you're going to need salt and pepper. And that's pretty much all you need, all you need. So the first thing you're going to do is drain the chickpeas into, um, drain the water, take it out of the can and literally drain out the brine that comes with the chickpeas and I just use those spaghetti strainers for that, which makes life easy. And then you're going to rinse them out like that. Basically getting rid of the brine helps to not have that funny taste, chickpea taste. So you're just pretty much gonna rinse them like so. From there, you just leave them pretty much in here while we prepare the other ingredients. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is cut up the bell pepper. This one is slightly small, so I made it two. So we're going to rinse that out. Make sure to thoroughly wash your vegetables. It's very, very, very important. You're going to wash it down. Wash down the tomatoes. And then what I do is I just cut them in half, like so. And then lastly to prepare, you're going to need your cucumber, which I typically just slice in half. And then I get everything off. Cucumber is quite, um, what's this, uh, watery especially the center of the cucumber is quite watery so we're going to get rid of the center before we chop it up so i typically just chop it in half like so get rid of that back part chop it in half like so and then that inside part with the little seeds this is the part that we need to get rid of so you just need this is basically very simple you just need a spoon and then we're going to empty out the seed contents of the cucumber. So let me just do this and show you. Just literally, that's you scoop it out. This makes sure that the salad doesn't then become soggy. So I've emptied out this, the center, the seeds, and just emptied them out onto this plate here. So it makes sure that the salad can keep in the fridge for some time without becoming soggy. Um, I wanted to use one of my glass containers and then I remembered this was my mother's. So I really love this. So this is where we're going to, you know, mix up our salad. Right. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go, simple enough. So here we are with all the contents in here. So we just pretty much mix this up. 
Then you get your lemon. This is where your lemon comes in. Uh, you just cut it, cut it, cut it, and you just squeeze. Ooh, okay, it's spilling everywhere. You just squeeze the lemon juice into the salad. Just one lemon should be sufficient. Then you add your olive oil. This just gives it a little bit of a, uh, makes it a little bit of a dressing. So the lemon and the olive oil makes it a little bit of a dressing. And then of course, to taste, I normally don't go in as much with the salt. I go in quite a bit with the pepper though, because oh, it gives it a really nice smoky kind of uh, taste as well. Finally, the stars of the show. You add your chickpeas. Here we go. And then you mix. Oh, it's already smelling so nice. So I almost, almost forgot one of the best ingredients for this salad, and it's parsley, Italian parsley, or normal parsley. I feel like fresh parsley works best, as opposed to parsley from um, the, the can. I feel like fresh parsley would work best. Let's rinse this down. So I rinse it down, and then I dry it with a paper towel, because you don't want any of that um, water. You, you don't need any more water to the salad. That's it. And then you just pretty much add it like so. And then you flip it. Flip it. There we go. I knew that something was missing. So you add it like so and then you flip, 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 flip. And then I typically just like to add a little bit more on top. Just as a little... It's me. I am going to... Take in a little bit of everything, taste, chickpea, pep, yeah, parsley, the pepper, got the pepper in there. All right, and I'm going to taste. Itarakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Itarakimasu is uh, cheers in Japanese, and that's pretty much what it looks like. Really, really great, great salad. And just cover that up and then you chill it in the fridge and you can have it later with rice you can have it with um, quinoa you can have it with just meat and a salad um, you can add it to pretty much anything <laughs>